Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today. I think it's October 21st. Yeah, 21st into the 22nd. This is for all signs. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Typically, these readings uh, come into play for me a few days later, sometimes even a week later. Something will happen and I'll be like, oh, that was my daily vibe from a week ago. You know what I mean? Or a couple days ago. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid on these. Um, these these daily vibes are for all signs. Whatever comes up, comes up. I focus on love. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, ain't that just beautiful? So... There could have been, I mean, when you look at this card, these two cards, okay, the lovers with the ace of cups reversed, there could have been some sort of union that didn't turn out the way you hoped. I mean, it could have. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Maybe it's unrequited love. Maybe it's unrequited love. Maybe it was... Uh, Maybe somebody's in an unrequited love situation and they are you know <laughs> looking someplace else because this is a a choice, a decision that needs to be made based on two paths, two people usually. There's an unexpected choice of love, you know, in love. Interesting. We have to get a bunch more cards to see what that card means. But I think this has to do with... Uh, there's an opportunity here for a beautiful union. But there's there could be one situation that needs to be dealt with first. You know, that's what it looks like to me. But we'll see. Oh yeah, there's one, there's one, there's one situation that is not fulfilling emotionally. Seriously, there's, it's like there's no more love. The love has died. It's that song. I've lost that love and feeling. I've lost that love and feeling, and perhaps there's a new connection. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Needing to go within, what do, you, what do you want? You need to take a time out to, to, to figure this out. I mean, why, why aren't you happy? Well, somebody's not happy here in love. It's like, the, like I said, the love has been, the cup is empty. It's no longer full. What once was is no more. Somebody may be really thinking about The future, the plan. How, how, what am I going to do now? A lot of thinking going on. And if you're not, this is saying time to reflect, time to reevaluate your life. Mm, delaying. Somebody is blocking perhaps a perfect union. Because they're mirroring each other. It's like it's blocked. This perfect union is blocked by something that is unfulfilling. An unrequited love situation. That's the truth. And this is the rods of love. And this is, I mean, these two are mirroring each other. You're always going to look at that. Blocking love. I'm telling you what. This perfect union is being blocked by a situation that is not happy. Okay. It's time to move on. Okay. Somebody needs to find their... 
face their fears and move on. Make a decision to move on. Yeah, that just it's time to make that decision. Oh, goodness. Hiding the truth. Somebody is holding in their truth. Somebody is absolutely holding in their truth. Refusing to wake up when they need to wake up. Refusing to release something when they need to release something. It's time to come out of this indecision. It's a, it's a time of indecision right here. Of choices. What choice is going to be the best one? There's a, this ace of coins, this is a golden opportunity. There's a golden opportunity waiting for you. But you have to, you have to go get it. You know, you have to go get that opportunity. You have to head in the direction of your heart's desire. But somebody's not doing that. They're not heading in the direction of their heart's desire. They're probably using this time to come up with a plan. It's planning, you know. It looks like right now I'm coming up with a plan on how I am going to move forward. And while you're coming up with this plan, there's a lot of um, back and forth indecisiveness. I think that and these guys are both seeing the truth. Somebody is becoming aware of their own truth you know it's a time of awareness I'm not happy here I know I'm not happy here and I know there's a better opportunity waiting for me somebody's gonna have to be left out in the cold and I'm scared to do that I don't want to do that it, I don't you know but it looks like it is time to move on because waiting is your mirror Okay, the partner that you are meant to be with is waiting when you get to the other side. But it's your choice. And somebody is having a lot of, a lot of doubts about moving on. Right? I, I doubt. I doubt that if I move on that I, this is the right choice because right here I'm stable but I'm not in love. So I don't know who this reading is for. I don't think I said it at the beginning. This reading is for somebody. It's not for everybody. Somebody is delaying their own truth by holding on to something that is not emotionally fulfilling. They're delaying their love. I mean the lovers is a divine connection. It really is. But it's also a card of consequences. There's consequences for the decisions that you make. You definitely have to make a choice. If you stay where you're at, you're going to continue to be feel unloved or not be able to love. Or it's going to be emotionally unfulfilling if you stay where you're at. Where you're at. If you move on, you're going to you're going to get this. You're going to get that partnership that you know could be very perfect for you. All right, so there is an opportunity for a perfect match. But somebody is very much unaware, refusing to accept their own truth. They're very unaware. They are. Even though they know the truth. I see that they, I think that you know what you need to do. And you're, you're just doubting yourself. You're doubting your own truth, Okay. Let's get some clarifiers here. Ooh. Somebody is growing bitter, more bitter and resentful as the days go by. Because they're not listening. <laughs> That's what's happening. When you and this is bitterness and resentment as well. So um, both of these are by delaying your own your own needs, your own truth. You grow bitter and resentful on the inside because you're not being fulfilled.
There's an opportunity to bring balance and harmony back to your life. You have the resources. You have the power. You're not the same person that you used to be. Accept it. There's a major new beginning here. Some One cycle of your life is going to be completed or is completing and you're about to begin another one. You have learned some sort of lesson or you're about to learn a lesson about love. What really matters anyway? Stability. Okay, look at this. Okay, we got the world right here. The world card. We have the Ace of Coins here and the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups is reversed. The lesson is what matters? What matters? Love or stability? The lesson is you love. Love matters more than stability. But, or you know, maybe, maybe you just need to be able to blend the both because this is blending. Here we have love and coins again connected to the world. Okay. There's no wish fulfillment in the love arena. But it's stable. It's secure, right? It's not really secure. It's not really secure with the five of pentacles. You may, you may feel like it's secure. Pretending that it's secure. But... You have, you have an opportunity for a, a new beginning here in a new direction that will lead you down a new path and bring you harmony, balance. But somebody needs to find the confidence and the strength and the willpower to head in that direction to go after the love that they dream about so I feel like somebody is in the process of reevaluation right now it's a time of reevaluation it is Everything happens for a reason. This is a card of purpose. It's a time of renewal by the looks of things. And somebody is needing to get creative to release themselves from something that is causing them bitterness and resent on the inside. There's an opportunity for a new connection here with somebody that's quite unexpected. Maybe this person has shown up in your life and they have, all of a sudden you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do because you got this unexpected choice and you're stuck in one situation that's unfulfilling and you just need to get out of it and you're trying to come up with a way of how to get out of it so that you can be together with this divine partner, whoever it is. So I, I do, I believe that somebody is really going through a period of reevaluation. That's what this is about. This is a daily vibe. So it's reevaluating your love versus stability. Somebody is, is losing out in the love arena, staying in a situation that is secure, but not really. And there's a new golden opportunity waiting for you once you step over that finish line complete that phase that is emotionally unfulfilling find the confidence to complete it this is the major completion so i feel as though you know you may you may need to make some compromises but in the end, there's, there's going to be victory and success for those of you that find the confidence and the willpower to move on from this situation that is not full. It's empty. It's empty. That cup, is, that cup of love is empty. You have to find the confidence and the courage to move on. That's all there is to it.
So I don't know who this reading is for. It's not going to be for everybody. If you have already moved on, if you have already moved on and you're single, there's an opportunity. Um, looks like there's an opportunity for an unexpected lover to show up in your life. Because there is, there is. Because you have relit, you've, you've found your fire, you are feeling confident. You have completed that cycle. For those of you that have found your confidence and your self-esteem and your self-worth, somebody, there's an opportunity for a divine connection here. And it could lead to something really solid and stable. Because you've taken the time to heal and go within. For those of you that are single. We do have, we have one woman right here that is refusing to accept the truth. So we have a woman, we do have a woman here that is refusing to accept the truth about a situation. She's in, in denial. She knows the truth, but she doesn't want to believe the truth. That's what this is. This is what this is. So we do have one woman that is blocking her own, her own, um, awakening you know she's blocking her own path because she's not seeing things clearly and she she's not could be a libra gemini or aquarius we have, we have a woman here that is in denial. She knows the truth, but she is refusing to wake up. She don't want to hear it. She don't want to believe it. She don't want to. She don't want to. And she's probably pissed. She's upset. She doesn't. She's just not seeing things clearly. Blocking the truth. I mean, this is, this is all blocking the truth. This woman, we have a woman that is in denial, blocking the truth. She don't want to hear it. But we have this woman over here who's very confident. Well put together. She's, she's moving on. She's going to move on. She's strong enough to do so. And she's going to find her divine partner. So we have two different women here that, do we have any men? I don't see any men here. Not that there's, this is it for men or women, because it is. We do have a major new beginning here either way. This is a completion of one cycle. A new chapter is about to start. After somebody has been in a situation that was has been empty emotionally. You know, unrequited love. There's been an unrequited love situation. One woman, one woman, or man, but I think it's a woman, has, has decided, you know what? I'm going to hold my head up high and move on. We got one woman who is refusing to accept the truth. Complete denial. Needs to... This woman needs to go within and reevaluate the situation. This happened for a reason. This happened for a purpose. There's another opportunity, golden opportunity, for both, because this card's right in the middle, for both people. There's a golden opportunity waiting when you step over the finish line. So for those of you that have stepped over that finish line and completed that chapter with the person that the cup was empty, there's a major new beginning here that could lead to something solid, stable, and secure. For those of you that are still bitter and resentful and refusing to accept the truth, eventually you're going to get a new beginning too. You're still healing. You may be in denial, but you, you're probably try, starting to reevaluate. Now we're going to get you one of these and see what comes up. Oh, should love it when that happens. 
Let's see. Passion and pleasure. Oh my God. It makes sense. Passion and pleasure. Yikes. Savor your life. Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. When the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasures when you can. Allow your senses to be satiated. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. There's an opportunity uh, for seduction here as well. And I didn't say it, but I'm going to say it now. I think there is a, an attraction between two people that is undeniable. That is coming about. And there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. If you decide to take the opportunity. So that's what I have for today. Good luck.